Hello everyone, welcome to part 8 of Laravel 10 tutorial in which we are creating the admin panel. Uh, so in this video, we are going to work on the login logout functionality. Uh, see few videos back, we able to register the admin card. Okay, and now we are going to log in with the admin card and we will also work on the login function logout functionality after that. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first of all, we are going to update this form. So I'm going to open this page here. I'm going to close the earlier files and I'm going to open this uh, login blade file that we have created earlier login.blade.php file located at admin folder and here we are going to update uh, this form uh, we are going to add the csr csrf token here okay and also update the action uh, to uh, that uh, url admin url admin login slash login uh, see this route I think we have already created uh, with both uh, uh, get and post so it's fine okay so admin login and after that uh, see type email here we also give the name email type email is fine everything seems to be fine here and also here we are going to give here name password okay so and after this sign in that is fine okay so now we are going to uh, create admin in post method in admin controller and here we are going to get the data uh, sorry not here here in login function we are going to get the data request dollar request and the poster data first of all we are going to check that is coming here in our form in our function dollar request in method post so we are going to check here dollar data dollar request all to log in with any of the username and email email and password and here you can see that we able to get the data here in function okay so now we will comment this one so now uh, we are going to verify we are going to uh, verify this data with auth guard okay so we will verify this one with auth guard admin to verify whether the user is uh, correct or not okay user credentials are correct or not so here we will auth guard admin attempt here email dollar data email password dollar data password Okay, so if both uh, email and password are correct then uh, we will return the user return redirect the user to the dashboard page admin dashboard otherwise if email or password is incorrect then we are going to show the error message to the user and we will return the user back to the login page with the error message that we are going to display in the login page we are going to show invalid username invalid email or password or username or password whatever you want to give okay so now we are going to try with this one i will continue uh, some syntax error has come okay so here one more brackets need to close now we are going to check continue uh, okay some other error is coming we will use here use auth at the top now 
we're going to check so see it bring us uh, outside okay. we are redirected back to the admin login page because our credentials are incorrect we, we will try to log in with the admin at the rate of admin.com as email and one two three four five six as password that we have set earlier with cedar we are going to try with that admin at the rate of admin.com as username and one two three four five six as password and now we will try to sign in and this time uh, see some other error has come we are going to search this issue in google what is the issue here okay so we are going to make one change here in admin model okay admin.php model admin okay so here uh, extends uh, authenticable will come okay so we need to add the authenticable class here use illuminate foundation auth user as authenticable okay we are going to check in user model as well see here also we have used the authenticable okay so every time if we are making any table uh, to uh, as a guard okay like user table as a guard we are going to use all the records as as the credential for logging in uh, for logging into the front end and now we are using the admin for logging into the admin panel we need to make the model as authenticable okay so the same thing we have done here in admin and now we will make it as authenticable as well admin extend authenticable okay so like we are using there we are going to uh, use here protector dollar guard equal to admin okay and uh, also we are going to see like uh, fillable protector fillable uh, here name email and password and here also we are going to use this one the same we are going to use here okay and protected hidden as password and remember token okay and here uh, see we don't have the remember token i'm going to remove this one like this okay so now uh, we will try to log in once again okay so i'm going to try to log in once again and here you can see the this time we can able to log in into the dashboard okay so this time we able to log in into the dashboard okay you can see we able to log in into the dashboard because we able to log in with the admin guard okay so now uh, we will add the logout functionality as well so we will create the route for the logout functionality so this uh, logout route we are going to add inside the middleware admin middleware group and we will create the get route for logout logout function we are going to create now and inside this function we are going to use auth guard admin logout admin logout to log out the admin guard okay and we will return redact the user to admin login page like this so we will try uh, we will add the uh, logout here as well we're going to see uh, where the logout exists here uh, we're going to see its link must be somewhere we can also add the logo out here at the top okay so i'm going to create the logo out at the top here home contact and after that logo out okay uh, so for that i'm going to assess this page uh, i'm going to see where is locator 
resources views admin layout header and here after con contact we are going to add here logout so i'm going to add the url of admin logout admin slash logout so i will try to click on this link and see we able to log out from the admin panel now if i will try to assess the dashboard we can't able to assess the dashboard here okay so in next video we are going to validate this admin login okay both email and password we are going to validate we just want the authenticated user must log in into the admin panel and we are going to show the error message if in case uh, the username or password is incorrect okay we will not allow the user to log in uh, if the username or password is incorrect and also we're going to display the error message okay so that thing we are going to do in the next video so please stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time Goodbye.